Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So the day has finally come. Adidas and Ye are no longer an item. Adidas has cut all ties with Kanye. And to be honest with you, are we really surprised? We all knew that this was coming. Maybe the only thing that's quite shocking is how soon it is. But at the same time with Kanye kind of upping his crazy behavior, what can we really expect? Personally for me, I don't really feel any type of way to each party. Obviously I can completely empathize with Kanye with his mental health. Um, but at the same time, when you have this kind of repetitive behavior, I feel like it's no it is a choice he made at the end of the day and you have to deal with the consequences and I feel like at the end of the day this is what he wanted so to be honest with him it probably works in his favor he, he's gonna lose out on payments but I feel like he has set a long-term vision I feel like before all of this maybe even a year ago or maybe even more he already has plans of doing this by himself so I feel like this is all just part of his kind of a bigger plan there's a bigger picture outside of what is just happening now he already started with clothes and things like that but I think you know he just wants to expand that's my personal view of what kind of I think his long-term plan is and obviously for Adidas they are going to be losing a lot of money a lot of sales I mean the contract was supposed to be to 2026 so that is a lot of money we are talking about especially with November and December coming out obviously today's review is the Yeezy 350 uh, V2 which is the last Adidas Yeezy which is makes this even more special um, but they did have more Adidas uh, Yeezys coming out this year so there are more color ways that are actually supposed to be coming out they do actually own all the rights for the future Yeezys and the past as well so I can definitely see them still bringing them out um it'll be interesting to see whether people will buy them I feel like at the end of the day it is a Yeezy so it's a very very interesting one whether people will still want to buy them and this kind of determines are people buying it because they actually really love the silhouette um they love the colors all of that or are they buying it because they more like the kind of Yeezy brand because it's related to Kanye um so I feel like that will be really really interesting to see but yeah Adidas yeah as I said it's 2022 I feel like you know they already make some kind of similar copycat um versions of Yeezy so I feel like you know they're already going down that route and people are still buying them they're still making money and you know Adidas was here before Kanye was born so I don't worry for them at all I feel like they will recover and you know they'll bring out other cool shoes I mean if you just take a look at the slides Adidas released those Adilette slides which are very very kind of similar vibes to Adidas Yeezys and they have done so well um, they're more accessible to people so that's just an example you know of the future of what can happen so what I'm really interested to see is the kind of aftermath of this the kind of ripple effect is going to have I don't know if Yeezy prices are going to go up because these I guess are the OG Yeezys but if Adidas still have the rights to futures and pasts um, Yeezys then you know if they're going to be producing more and they'll probably have leftover stock then it's not really the last OG Yeezys is it and especially if Kanye is going to be producing Yeezys but renaming them or doing something different to them then these might you know not have that hype so it will be interesting to see whether the kind of past adidas yeezys that have been released are going to go up in value or not and there actually are other yeezy colorways supposed to be coming out towards the end of this year but yeah guys let's go back to the actual review so today's video we have the yeezy 350 v2 and the colorway salt So starting with unboxing, this may be the last time that you actually see a Yeezy box that looks like this, but as I said, we will just have to wait and see. Um, so we have the standard Yeezy box, which obviously has the 350 on the top. We have the pullout function. Um, and then as you can see here, you can see the colorway and also the sizing. And so here we have the Yeezy 350 Boost V2 in the colorway salt. These are also known as the Jade Ash colorway as well. So as you can see, we have the standard Yeezy 350 silhouette. This is very, very similar to the Slate colorway, which also dropped quite recently I do also have a review on that one as well however obviously one of the main differences is the color as you can see we have this kind of turquoisey light turquoise blue color which is absolutely stunning usually I'm not really a fan of colored shoes but I feel like for Yeezys I can always make an exception I don't know why for me the color works so well and I feel like it's not too much in your face but it is at the same time so in the recent year Yeezy have changed their upper materials we still have this knitted material um, but they've definitely made it a bit thicker a bit tighter um, and that's probably because it is made up of recycled materials and as you can see we do have these black speckles one thing I must say is that compared to the slate colorway compared to the most recent colorways you can definitely now see more of this speckled black across the outer side of the panel we obviously have this black stripe which I absolutely love this definitely for me I feel like it's the OG and it's the best design out of the Yeezy 350s as well I absolutely love that and then of course we have the supply 350 taking a look at the laces as you can see we have the standard 
Yeezy laces again in the same turquoise blue color. It all just blends in really nicely. Moving on to the sole of shoe, we have the rubber again in the same turquoise blue color. And then of course we have the boost sole at the bottom. Inside the shoe, we have the turquoise blue Yeezy insole. These came in at £200, $230. As I said before, it's going to be really interesting to see how much these are going to be in a week's time, in a month's time, in a year's time, in two years' time. If I was going to recommend any Yeezy model, then I would definitely recommend the Yeezy 350. Personally, for me, I just find it so comfortable and I absolutely love the silhouette. I feel like it goes with a lot of things. Also, another thing about Yeezys is that I do like some colour with them as well. So for me, this colour is absolutely dreamy. In general, if it just wasn't on a shoe, I just absolutely love this colour. So I think wise you do have to be careful with depends on what kind of model and what what year it was released. Any Yeezys that have dropped this current year, I've had to size up one whole size. So if you are looking at getting a pair of these, you need to size up one whole size minimum. I could even do an 8.5. So usually I'm a size seven. I got these in a size eight. They do fit, but I still feel like they are a bit tight. After one of my previous videos where I reviewed the Yeezy 350 and the Slate colorway, basically the same as this, but a different colorway. Um, I was talking about the size and I had a lot of recommendations in the comments of what I could do. I have tried taking the insole out and I still feel like they're actually a little bit tight um but for me my normal size is a size seven so going to an 8.5 is just it's just a bit wild for me i still feel like these look kind of big so it really depends how you like your shoes to fit personally for me i definitely like to make sure that i have a little bit of extra room and um, for a size a it is quite a snug fit it does fit but as i said it is a snug fit so it depends what you know you guys want that brings me to the end of the video let me know what you guys are saying especially about yay and adidas's breakup i know there's a lot of people that are you know team yay and a lot of people that are team adidas but do you know what at the end of the day they've had a really good run they have made history as well so even though some people might be really upset you know we've had some amazing shoes off them and we've had some iconic silhouettes remember when the foam runners and even the slides came out i feel like it was groundbreaking there's a lot of shoes that kanye and adidas made that were groundbreaking and kind of changed the shoe world i am grateful for the releases to be able to do reviews on them to conversate with you guys about what we are saying about the latest Yeezy drop as well. So you know it's been a part of my YouTube life so I am kind of sad to see it go but at the same time as I said things are only going to get better. There are going to be new groundbreaking shoes. The innovation from these companies is constantly evolving so I'm really really excited for the future you know. I feel like there's so much more groundbreaking shoes to come. We just have to wait for it. The future is exciting not only from Kanye and Adidas but there's so many other shoe companies as well um, and ones that we haven't even heard of yet they're still to be bought so I feel like it's still exciting and you know we just got to be thankful for that part of history that chapter is closed but you know new doors are going to open thank you guys so much for watching today's video I'm definitely going to be getting my hands on whatever shoe is going to come next from Adidas and Yeezy Kanye whatever so make sure you are subscribed to see it and I'll see you guys in my next video